My name is Richard Anderson. I'm the principal of St John's Grammar. I'm delighted to be able to share my insights and thoughts about something that's very special in our school. It's called the Right Journey. We introduced the Right Journey because there was a growing need for young people to be able to explore the passageway into adulthood in a way that was meaningful to them, meaningful to their families, and also meaningful to our staff. It's been a really special experience. It's been one that's transformed pedagogy as well as young people's lives. When we talk to our year nine students about their highlights of their school year, they talk about the right journey. More so, they talk about the connections they have with the people in their classes and their teachers. From a personal point of view, I've been involved in the right journey not only as a leader of the school, but also as a teacher of the program and also a parent of three young girls who have experienced it. The Right Journey's been wonderful leverage on all fronts to be able to talk with young people about their own lives, about their aspirations and dreams, in a way that opens up doors that normally wouldn't have happened. The Right Journey at this school has really been a great promoter for student agency true agency where young people take responsibility for where they're going and who they are. And I'm forever grateful for the course. As a teacher in schools for a long period of time, I actually have transformed my practice as a result of being involved in The Right Journey. The Right Journey has demanded that I, as the educator, facilitate conversations and explorations of things that are really important in young people's lives without a recipe, without endless lists of pre-organised notes. At St John's, we don't do the right journey. We use it as a framework in which we can provide a meaningful, coherent and spiritual learning experience for all year nines. Right Journey's been so successful that we have expanded the key concepts and ideas into other year levels, making us a school that has a wellbeing and personal development program that we're really proud of. I'm Carly Mitchell, the leader of student wellbeing at St John's Grammar School, and I'm also the coordinator of the Right Journey program. We've been fortunate enough to have the Right Journey program in our school now for five years, and during that time, the program's evolved as teachers become more comfortable in teaching the Right Journey program and our young people also see the value and the Right Journey program is well and truly embedded in our school culture now. The wellbeing of our students is one of our biggest priorities here at St John's and we certainly feel that the Right Journey program provides a perfect platform to support, to guide and to nurture our young people. It's a trusted space and a place where students feel comfortable and a sense of belonging that is unique and different to a normal school life. And to watch that transition within the year, but also in the years that come, the Right Journey program really just sets the students up so well for that journey into adulthood. One of the unique features of the Right Journey program is the opportunity for teachers to take on much more of a mentoring role. We teach through telling our own personal stories, our experiences, and most importantly, the learning that has come from those experiences. It's a chance for students to share their own stories and to do so without any judgment. As a parent myself, I see so many advantages to the Right Journey program, and certainly having nothing like this when I grew up, I really see the value in what the Right Journey program offers. Having young children, I'm really excited for the opportunity for them to go through the Right Journey program in years to come. So Right Journey gave me the opportunity to talk to my peers and understand their lives and what they've been through and um, learning how I could apply what they've learned in their lives to my life. Right Journey's taught me more about who I am and who I want to be and what I don't want to be and where I want to go with my life and how I want to impact others. Right Journey gave me the opportunity to understand myself through building relationships uh, with my peers and from the guidance of my teacher and I was able to then understand my life and my life after school. So my Right Journey experience was really great in the fact that I was able to form a lasting relationship with my Right Journey teacher 
as well as really getting to know my peers and I was also able to form lasting friendships with them until now. As a young man in the Right Journey program, I was able to challenge myself alongside with my peers to create a sense of unity and I also learned to appreciate every day and make more out of my life. For me, as a 14 year old undergoing the right journey, it was a great experience to challenge the stereotype of what it means to be a man in today's society. And back! There we go! My name is Helen and I have two sons at St John's Grammar School who have enjoyed the Right Journey program. One has completed it and is currently in Year 11 and the other is in Year 9 and is currently working through the program. The biggest support for us as a family that I've noticed is that Year 9 is a interesting point in the life of a student and the boys look for that extra support during those years and the right journey for our family has really um, offered that. I think engaging in same gender groups is so important especially as families change and our family is one that doesn't have a lot of additional male support that both of my boys have really enjoyed um, the support that the school provides, particularly the physical challenges and the strong male role models that the teachers that guide the program offer. Often I hear the boys at home in the kitchen perhaps laughing about the activities but I know that for us it's more of a nervous laughter but there's a real strong appreciation undermining that and that things may seem funny to them, but they're actually growing through the program. So it's that teenager laughter, but you know, I really appreciate the support that we get through the Right Journey program. So it's been invaluable to us as a family. The shares that we have with um, other schools that don't offer it, you can tell that they wish that they did have it in place at their school. It's been a wonderful journey for both of our boys and we really appreciate that as a family. I think my favourite part of the right journey has just been improving my relationships with my peers. I've got to know so many people that I never would have normally talked to and I think that's just really opened up everyone's friendships. I like the right journey as it's not very similar to any other subjects that we do at school and it's good to think about other things that aren't just school subjects. Before starting Right Journey, I didn't have many expectations, but since going to this program, it has more than exceeded any expectations that I did have. I have not only made friendships with the people around me, but I have made true connections with them, and I will now happily have a conversation with them at any point during the school day. I'm looking forward to the Right Journey camp that's coming up. So for the solos that we're doing and the challenges that we're doing with all our friends, and we can really bond as a class. My favourite thing about doing Right Journey this year is being able to develop the safe place in the classroom, not only with the people in the class but also with my teacher. Being able to feel like you can talk about anything and knowing that people are always going to be there for you. The Right Journey has been a really worthwhile program for me as it just really helps you build relationships with your family and friends and just everyone around you and it's really, I think I will get a lot of out of it by the time the year is finished. My name's Brian Wicks and I'm a teacher of The Right Journey and a head of house at St John's Grammar School in Belair in South Australia. I've been teaching The Right Journey for the last five years and it's been a terrific opportunity to work with a group of boys as I help them see the responsibilities of being an adult. It's often said in our society that we're lacking uh, good adults and particularly good men. So to be able to engage with this group of boys and really encourage them to think about the roles in front of them and the things that they need to take on as adults is a real privilege. The structure of the right journey really leads itself to encouraging our boys to think about the stages of moving into manhood. In our culture, we're so lacking in rights. And so to actually have markers along the course of the year to work with the boys, to think about growing up and moving forward, taking responsibility for themselves, leaving their parents' control as they take on responsibility for themselves is a terrific way to do it. In a culture that's so devoid of really significant markers for our young men, it's terrific to be able to give these guys the opportunity to think about what's important and how they can move into adulthood successfully.